Hello everyone, this is Mady and Angelina. Today we're going to talk about PDFs. PDFs are the digital equivalent of a treasure chest, full of information. But if you want an AI to find things for you, good luck, right? Startups have been trying very hard to extract information out of PDFs accurately for many years. But even Y Combinator's best AI tools still hallucinate numbers or having a hard time interpreting graphs. But today we have a new tool, Germini Flash 2.0. It is potentially your only go-to locksmith that you need going forward. It is 30 times cheaper than OpenAI and 60 times cheaper than Claude. And most importantly, it actually understands what's in your document. Whether it's tables or charts or graphs or your professor's scribble scrabble, Germini will read them all. So stick around. Nady's going to show us how he turned its superpower into a PDF slaying machine in a very simple example. And why your PhD advisor will hate how easy it is to cheat. I mean, to learn. Let's dive in. All right. This new version of Gemini is fantastic, especially for parsing documents, extracting information, things like that. And um, this is a very short amount of code you can see here. They have even upgraded their SDK and fixed a lot of issues and unified their API. Now you can easily use their API to essentially interact with LLMs, doing different things. So you can see here, this code is nothing but creating a client object from this Google Gemini, and I has my API key and uh, the model name, the new version of Gemini no. 2.0. And I pass the URL of Let's say a PDF. This is the URL and this is the, my PDF. So I pass the URL, I get the content of the PDF and I save it here. And then this few lines, which is essentially just calling the LLM and passing the prompt. You can see here, I'm passing the prompt, which is in this case, explain figure one in details. And this is the data, which is the PDF content. And I run this and this is the answer. Let me show. So this is figure one. Mm -hmm. Okay. I ask, explain this figure one in details. First of all, it really understands the entire picture. And mm -hmm. then it starts explaining and breaking it down to, to details. You can see picks even the symbols very accurately. Think about it, even say the question. This is the initial query or the question. And the question is what is considered a business expense on a business trip? And if you come here, this is it. This is the question. What is considered a business expense on a business trip? You can see the, the amount of accuracy for really just doing for CR and things like that. If I simply, let's say, what is the main idea of this paper? And it's processing, by the way, this is the content of the file. You can see it's essentially just PDF, like bytes. I can show it here. Let me just remove that. All right. So I said, what is the main idea of the paper? And that's it. The main idea of the paper is to introduce Sin Retriever, which is like a novel framework for information retrieval system, et cetera, so on and so forth. We can see it's very fast, very accurate, and you can even upload multiple files, things like that. So the idea here is that this new Gemini 2.0 is very capable and people can use it to integrate different types of applications. For example, for RAG and all that, we can use this for extracting structured information from invoices, different types of documents. I think this is fantastic. This is great. Yeah, I noticed that the prompt operator, it was able to capture that as well. It's like a P plus. If you go to the paper, there's a kind of like a sim symbol of. Yes. It was able yeah. to use that as well. Exactly. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's extremely good, actually. You can see here, it picks different, see the P, and, um, you know, COT, chain of thought. So it's the same okay. thing here, and P of chain of thought and different things here and the good thing is based on the pricing on their website it's very cheap i saw i read an article let me see if i can find the article in here someone shared it on um hacker news and this guy is talking about 
how Gemini has helped them for parsing PDFs and all that. And here it shows a table which kind of breaks down the cost. Using this new version of Gemini, you can process 6,000 PDF pages per dollar if you use Gemini 2.0 Flash. And then if you switch to Flash Lite, which is cheaper, then it's about 12,000 pages per dollar. Think about it. It is so cheap. And then it is super accurate in terms of extracting data, right? Converting PDF to text to markdown, extracting tables, charts, things like that. And as compared with other similar models, here yeah, you can see, for example, if you want to use OpenAI GPT-40, then you can do it 200 pages, right? Or if you use Anthropic, 100 pages per doll. And the model is a multi-model. You pass image, you pass audio, video, it understand them. Did you say a uh, video too? Yes. Yeah, I think it understands videos as well. Um, it's a multi-modal model, let's say shit. Um, yeah. So this article here is just an example of how they have used Gemini. Even now that you have this capability in your hands, for example, you know, using Gemini, you can even do different chunking when you are going to implement a RAG solution, for example. You can go with semantic chunking, as you know, is one of the best chunking strategies when you are going to implement RAG. However, it was expensive, computationally expensive, as well as the cost was expensive. Because if you want to just pass tens of thousands of documents and implement that solution, but now it is not really that expensive. You can parse hundred million plus page, right? Pages of documents for $5,000, for example. Before we continue, we have a very quick announcement. Tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. on Pacific time, Mady and I are going to host a live stream uh, to chat with everyone if you have time to join. Um, please join, ask us questions. Uh, we're planning on our Maven course uh, right now. It's nothing set in stone, but we would love to hear your advice and we will go through some of the questions related to RAG or AI agents tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Did I mention time, like time needed to do this task? And it's it, fast too, right? It's fast, yes. Uh, if you want to do OCR or, or use some other library, it is, it takes more time. I read somewhere they said that it's, Six seconds. Yes. So this is actually six seconds. Six uh, minutes to six seconds. Yes. I it says from twelve minutes on average to six seconds on average. The accuracy, you know, like ninety six percent. Oh shit! Um, oh, we can change like on the commercial, you know, use cases. We can move to this now. Cheaper, faster, better. Cheaper, faster, better, and there are a bunch of open source models as well. Multi right. model that we can process images. A couple of days ago, IBM also released a very good vision language model, ABLM. That's also based on their benchmark and their blog on Hugging Face. It's quite accurate and very capable. I haven't tested that. And it's the smallest one, I think. It's about 2.3 billion parameters. Um, it was about you know, 10 gigabytes, so I wasn't able to actually use it locally, unless I create a quantized version of that. Right. But overall, yes, there are so many different models out there that people can use for processing images and text and so on and so forth. But if you don't want to use any of them and you want to go with a, like the least amount of uh, kind of technicalities, if you don't want to deal with anything, then using Gemini is perhaps the easiest way because you simply just write a few lines of code as your API key, and then just use it. Even for very personal use, let's say I'm reading a paper and then I can ask different questions, just writing a few lines of code, right? I don't need to do anything else. Simply just pass the URL and just say, you know, do it. And it's free, I, I think, for even personal use. So, Gemini, what is this? Gemini pricing here. So it's free of charge to some extent, obviously, but if you want to use, it's not that expensive, you can see here. And the, the thing is, if you use context caching, then it's going to become even cheaper. You can select different models here. Oh, I have used this flash, you know, 8 billion parameter and 
don't underestimate. This one is also very capable and it's almost free. It's so cheap that uh, it's almost free in my opinion. Now this Gemini uh, 2.0 flash, I think the cost is pretty much the same as this one or the, the light version of it. It's not that expensive. I think this is great. This is awesome for developers, for people who want to use them and create different applications. All right. That's good. Yeah, that's it for today. It's really fun chatting about a new technology. And this is one of the best on the market for uh, solving a lot of the data understanding issues. A very powerful multi-modality model that can handle this in a very fast processing, high accuracy and cheap um, solution. So sounds good. We'll see you next time.